Coming to you from a studio located somewhere in Atlanta, Georgia. It's time for Willie Brown and Friends Gospel Comedy Live. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. It's all good. Let's go. <laughs> Shout out to Uncle Rufus. Get your praise on, get your praise on, everybody give a soul clap, get your praise on, get your praise on. And here's your host, the funny man with lots of voices, Willie Brown. That's all right, y'all get a lot of hand praise right now. Whew. Where will we be without the Lord on our side? Oh, some of us will be locked up right now, tell the truth. <laughs> All right, y'all have a seat. Take your time. Take your time. Take. How you doing, DJ Question? I'll get up for DJ DJ Question over here. On the ones and twos, doing it for you. You got something for him, DJ Question? You you been mixing up? Oh, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. I'm glad y'all made it. Y'all made it out. Everybody made it out safe. Praise God. Traveling grace. Traveling grace. So good to be here. Good to be out of jail. Amen. 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 Just look straight ahead. Just look straight ahead. Look straight ahead. Welcome to Willie Brown and Friends Gospel Comedy Live. I'm Willie Brown. And you are my friends. Yes, 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 yes. All right, y'all. I, I, I'm not here alone. I got my people with me, and I want to bring them out. Uh, so I want y'all to put your hands together right now. Coming to the stage. And give it up for my partner Woody. Y'all give it for Woody. Come on. Oh yeah. That's it. We gotta get crunk for Jesus right now. I like that. DJ question, you doing it. Sound like sometimes that's the water running. <laughs> Hallelujah, good God Almighty. Did you feel that right there? <laughs> it's all wood. It was hard to find a church when we were out in LA, remember? Yeah, man. We went to this uh, small church. It was a little church. Yeah. It was real little. It was just the two of us. <laughs> you preached, I was in the choir. Wow. Wow. It wasn't that small. Oh, no. You all couldn't come on the same Sunday. Y'all come third Sunday. Y'all come say, yo, we'll see y'all around next Christmas sometime. <laughs> For real. But we loved it because it was like a down-home church, right? Everybody knew everybody. Uh-huh. We had an old pastor. He was like a real, real down-home preacher. You know what I'm talking about? Make you feel like, you know, what the, school, the church that your grandmama then went to. And we loved him because each week he would come in to the men's room, you know, and we would be bonding all the men. Talking about uh, what we're gonna do. We're gonna fix that asbestos right there. <laughs> we're gonna fix that floor right there. We're gonna fix that screen right now. We ain't do none of that. <laughs> this went on for seven years. We're gonna fix this right here. We're gonna do that right there. We're gonna fix that right there. Then we're gonna burn the mortgage. <laughs> We love this pastor, you know. We love him because he made you feel really good. But uh, we noticed uh, this pastor each week, mm -hmm, upon leaving the men's room, he would forget to uh, wash his hands. <laughs> and uh, I'm not a Christian tattletale or nothing. <laughs> and uh, I know that uh, cleanliness is next to godliness. And uh, for real, we don't have a problem with this, you know, three out of four Sundays a month. But our... Uh, on the first Sunday, why, uh, that's communion. <laughs> and uh, uh, he's the one that's breaking bread. <laughs> Needless to say, it's a long walk to the altar on that Sunday morning. As I contemplate my stance in life, as Father, Father, why hast thou forsaken thee? 
as I walk into the congregation, I notice the other members of the church gleefully chewing on their wafer. <laughs> what do you say? I say, I say, forgive them, Father, <laughs> for they know not what they do. <laughs> for, for man shall not live thy bread alone, <laughs> but every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of God. So finally, I make it to the altar. Mm -hmm. With my hand outstretched to thee, no other wise God I know from which cometh my help. What does he do? Finally, he traces a wafer into my hand. And what do you do? I look at it. <laughs> and I look at it, hoping that somehow it will magically disappear. <laughs> but it doesn't. Quick, under diversion, what must I do? I scratch my head. I yell out aloud, hallelujah! Everyone looks this way, I dropped it on the ground. <laughs> Act like I'm eating it. Mmm, 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 that's a good wafer right now. Ooh, that's a good wafer right now. We need some hot sauce to go with that wafer. Ooh, I had a lot of you wafers. Man, you guys are great. I'm so glad you all came out tonight. Give yourselves another round of applause. Yes. Yes, Lord, for the rest of our days. All right, we're going to bring to the stage our first comedian for the night. This gentleman right here is funny. He is blowing it up all over the country at churches and gospel events. You're going to love him. He's got his own stage play. He's doing his thing. I want you all to show some love. And give it up to my man from New Jersey, Chris Clark. Chris Clark, y'all. Chris Clark. What's up? What's up? Y'all all right? Hey, y'all look good up in here, boy. Hey, man. I appreciate y'all looking good, too, boy. Because I'm going to tell y'all, as a comedian, it is very hard to make unattractive people laugh. <laughs> I'm serious. You ever try to talk to somebody ugly? Don't they make you forget everything you had to say? <laughs> you can have something important to tell them. You be like, yo, you heard about James? <laughs> yeah, man, he had to... You know what? I'm going to call you. I'm going to call you. <laughs> Looking good is important. Am I right? Looking good is very important. You ever look so good, you ain't want to go straight home? <laughs> you ever had that problem? You know, because ain't enough people seeing your outfit, you know. <laughs> you be trying to find somewhere to go. You be like, ain't Walmart 24 hours now? I know something's open. You know, when you're looking good, that's a service you can't wait to take your offering up to the front. <laughs> You'd be like, <sighs> <laughs> like, sit down. <laughs> I want to give a couple of shout outs, first of all, to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 I also want to give a quick shout out to my girlfriend for being here with me tonight. My wife couldn't make it, so I'm glad she's here. <laughs> I'm just playing, y'all. I'm just playing. <laughs> I do want to give a shout out to our president, Barack Obama. Y'all give it up for our president. Man. I love Barack, boy. I like Barack because Barack is motivating. You know, when Barack speaks, he motivates you. That's how I knew he was going to win that first election because he came up with the campaign slogan, change. Yes, we can. Ain't that motivating? But Rock said, change, yes, we can. Change, yes, we can. But Rock had me so hype, I was in my living room sound like the nutty professor. <laughs> I was in there talking about, yes, I can. <laughs> yes, I can. <laughs> you better go ahead, Barack. <laughs> you ever mess around and gave the wrong offering? You thought that 50 was a five? You'd be like, ooh, give me that back, ooh. <laughs> I love good singing in church, though, boy. Y'all like good singing? Yeah. Love good singing. I mean, I went to one church, though, and it was a part of the service. You know, they called up the soloists. And I got excited. I said, man, I said yo, why y'all ain't tell me Prince went to y'all church? <laughs> that my man, I ain't Prince. That's Brother Geronimo. I mean, he looked just like Prince. Light skin, good hair, had his blouse on with his pumps. 
I'm serious. And you can tell like he wanted to be an R&B singer because he sung Jesus on the main line. But he ain't sing it the regular way. He broke it down, R&B style. His band started playing. It was like... Put your hands together. That's my time, y'all. I'm Chris Clark. God bless you. Hey, you're watching Willie Brown and Friends Gospel Comedy Live. We'll be right back right after this. Let's go. Gospel Comedy Live. If you love clean, wholesome family comedy and would like to bring the Willie Brown and Friends Gospel Comedy Live tour to your city, call us now at 310-663-9228 or visit us at cleancomedyclinic.com. Gospel Comedy Live tour packages are now available featuring some of your favorite clean and gospel comedians like Willie Brown and Woody. Don't be touching me now, they get the wrong impression. Comedian Joey Aiello. Five years, this is happily married. Five years of happiness right here. And the hilarious Nikita B. Yo, woman, see what you don't see before you see it to see if you're going to look at what she just saw. If you're looking for comedy that the entire family can enjoy, you come to the right place. Book the Willie Brown and Friends Gospel Comedy Live tour now at your local church or theater. Call 310-663-9228. Or visit us online at cleancomedyclinic.com, the world's first 24-hour clean comedy channel. God love you, so do I. Oh man, that was great. That was great. Yeah. And what do you, uh, you know? You got to see things as as though they are, right? Yeah. Yeah. So um, you know, I know there's a housing crisis going on, but you know, God is able. That's right. I, I'm fitting to get me a new house. You gonna buy your house? Yeah, I'm gonna get me a, a split with a four, y'all. No, no, that that's a split four year. No, no, I'm gonna split it with four, y'all. <laughs> Cause I'm gonna need four, y'all, to help me pay for. I got faith, but I ain't got that much faith. All right, this next gentleman, hilarious man. I met him at the CCA Christian Comedy Association a couple years ago. You're going to love this guy. High energy. He tours all over the country. Just uh, came back from doing TBN for the third time. I want you all to put your hands together from Branson, Missouri. Give it up to my man, Joey Aiello, y'all. Give it for Joey Aiello. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I know my people are here because of my, when I say my people, I came, I went to a, I grew up in a spirit filled church. <laughs> spirit filled, calm down, spirit filled, calm down. If you, if you grew up in a spirit filled church, you are a professional at catching the spirit. Your head is like a baseball glove. Up to the left, up down low, that was the grounder. You ever be in church and see somebody get lazy in the spirit? They're shouting. Just... All of a sudden, they start leaning on the arm. <laughs> you better get back to work. You're supposed to be in the spirit. Thank you. It's true, man. When you go to church and the spirit filled church, you're in church all day. It's true. You don't got time to eat. You got to get to the next service. I heard of Christian clubs and Christian restaurants. I've never heard of a Christian drive through. I'm going to open one for all the Christians so we can stay in the spirit. Praise the Lord. It'd be awesome, though. When you pull up, they got a menu and everything. Uh, yeah, let me get two sanctified cheeseburgers.
Uh, could you put some hellfire sauce on that, please? <laughs> For the wife, she'll have a lettuce spray garden salad. One large order of onion Christian soldier rings. Just one. <laughs> For the kids, two Sunday school meals. Two small fruit of the spirit smoothies to drink for them. And for dessert, let's see, we'll have I rebuke the devil cake. Oh, no. <laughs> They're like, your total praise total is 777. Please pull around. You're pulling around. They got a gospel choir out back. Pull up and get your blessing. It's all right. Pull up and get your blessing. Pull up and get your blessing. Set. Pull up and get your blessing. Is. Listen. Pull up, 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 pull up
acting like I can't dance or something. Deacons don't dance. What do they do? They boogie. <laughs> How you doing, sir, back there in the third row? I see your glasses shining. <laughs> Can you see me? Which one of us is real? <laughs> I love you, brother. You got some medicine in them glasses right there. <laughs> what is that, absolute? What are we gonna cut you stop there? We go outside and kill ants. We <laughs> 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 talking about people like that, man. All right, y'all, I told you this show was gonna be, uh, uh, it was hot. I told you this show was gonna be hot. And uh, man, is it hot? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, we, we about to bring the pain right now, all the way from Birmingham, Alabama, a mother of seven. Very funny. She's been on La Faluya. She's been on BET Comic View. She's been all over the world, and she's doing it for the Lord. Y'all give it up right now and start clapping and give it up for my girl, Miss B, y'all. Give it up for Miss B. Miss B, come on. From Birmingham. sanctified people that make some noise. Yeah. Sit on down, sit on down. You look good. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor. You, look good. you look good. Now those of you who lied, it's prayer time at the altar. <laughs> you know we get in church and tell all kind of lies. You just say it in faith, don't you? I love church though. I love church. I grew up in church. I've been in church all my life. What a good sanctified folk at. You grew up in church. You know church. And if you really grew up in church, you know one thing about church back in the day. You was there all day long. I'm telling you, I used to go to church so much, I used to get mad with my mama because I couldn't understand why I got to go. I know what they're going to do. They did it last Sunday. We don't care. We don't listen. White children, they got they got incentives. I heard her tell her daughter Taylor, if you don't quit it, you're not gonna get your snack. <laughs> Black children don't even care if they get a snack, right? We're gonna give them whatever was left over the night before. My teacher, my son teacher called me about two weeks into the school year, talking about Miss Johnson. I said, yes. He said, I need to have a parent conference with you. I said, what? School ain't been in but two weeks. He said, well, it's Devante. I said, what's wrong with Devante? He said, well, it's his snack. I said, what's wrong with his snack? He said, it's leaking. I said, put him on the phone. He get on the phone embarrassed. I said, didn't I tell you to turn them collard greens up right in that Walmart bag? White people get their children snacks with riddles on them. We give our children snacks in the old Cool Whip bowl. We gonna wrap up that hamburger in aluminum foil, ain't we? Hey, you're watching Willie Brown and Friends Gospel Comedy Live. We'll be right back, right after this. I just wanna tell y'all this last thing and I got to go, cause I know the devil is busy. But every now and again, I'd like to just give a special shout out to the weavers. You know who you are. Now don't play with me because I'm a weed prophetess. And I know it from the root. Yeah, I see some of y'all out there. I see three or four of y'all out there. The presence of a weave is here. The presence of a weave is here. I see it in the act. Must feel, she looking like, uh-uh, the Matrix. Uh-uh, no, she ain't talking about me. She ain't. I love weave, God knows I do. I want to be a cheerleader, but my hair was short. So I always serenade the weavers because God been good to us, huh? Now, we've been better to me than I've been to my, myself. I love weave so much, I rearranged the song, and I want to sing this to you tonight. 
This is for you. <laughs> Slip your hand. I meant your hands up in the air. <laughs> and I am telling you, go get me some glue. I ain't straightening my hair no more. It's short and nappy and it won't grow. Ooh, thank you. No, no, no. I'm sorry when I think of the goodness of we. No, 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 no way. No, 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 no way. I'm living without weave. I hate getting my hair greased and weave set me free. I'm weaving, I'm weaving, and you or you or you bring me some glue. Cool, y'all. I miss me. Let God arise and his enemies be scattered. I want y'all to put your hands together from Columbia, South Carolina. Give it up for Scotland Bailey, y'all. Scotland Bailey, come on. Make some noise for Jesus! Yeah. Now make some noise for Gospel Comedy Live and my boy and my brother, Willie Brown, comedian. All right, check it out. When I say Land of the Brave, you're going to say, hey, Land of the Brave. This side, Land of the Brave. This side, Land of the Brave. I know someone got Jesus here. It's the land of the brave. Let's go, question. Dream, eyes open. I don't chill with groups of fools. I'm chosen. Hey, repairs of the brick. My heart was broken, but Christ gave me another chance. Game token. Look into the sky, that's where my hope is. And yeah, he's soon to come. You better know this. Look, hating on your game, homie, know this. You in the club taking shots, Kobe, don't miss. It's that jail rap, right in late at night. Cause y'all still strapped when it's late at night. And when you take a life, is that your kryptonite? Instead of being Superman, he's a kryptonite. Only 14, banging with a price. It's paid already, but now he's about to risk his life. Listen, his payment's due, but it's paid in full. Yeah, he needs Jesus, but who's gonna give it to him? Pray! Yeah, there it is. I know someone got Jesus here. It's the land of the bread. Put your hands up. Come on. God for coming live. Put your hands up. Hey, hey, land of the bread. God coming live. What's up? Yeah, he needs Jesus. Hey, when I say Jesus, you say Christ. Jesus. Jesus. When I say Willie, you say Brown. I'm talking Willie. Talking Willie. Make some noise for the kid. Come on. My name's Scotland Bailey. Columbia South Crack. What's up? Gospel Comedy Live. I'm chilling with Willie Brown. What's good? Do nothing How's this morning. That we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. Thank you so much for coming out and watching us. Willie Brown and Friends, Gospel Comedy Live. We'll see you next week. Thank you. God bless you.